please join me in welcoming Wally Robertson. Turnstile transformation. The concept here is that each of us, when we go through that security barrier into the office, modify our own ethics, beliefs, behavior. To accommodate the ethics, beliefs, and behavior of the company we work for. Let me tell you a story to explain this. We have a saying in Britain, which is, when you take the king's shilling, you do the king's bidding. <laughs> you go through that security barrier, you make a decision. How much you modify your ethics, standards, beliefs, behavior is your decision. Let me tell you about Mike. Mike was a guy who worked as a second level manager within an investment bank in the equivalent of England's Wall Street. He had four people working for him. He comes to me one day and he says, Wal, can we go for a pint? Now I'm a Scotsman. The answer, obviously. <laughs> so we get down to the pub. Mike explains his dilemma. Well, my boss invited me into his office this morning. Now I know Joe, Mike's boss. He's a cruel but fair man. A sort of mixture between Mother Teresa and Genghis Khan. <laughs> I know also that the bank is laying off people because it's not going too well. So now I begin to feel for Mike. Ooh, invited to the boss, Genghis Khan. Well, while I was in the office, Joe said to me, you know the bank's been having trouble. We're needing to right size. Now, as an aside, by the way, have you ever found any organization right sizing upwards? <laughs> <laughs> so this is risky ground. Mike tells, Joe tells Mike that he has to lay off some people. Mike's got a team of four. Mike says to me, well, I have Mary. Middle-aged lady, lives with her mother, who's rather unwell. She spends most of her time caring for her mother, but she still gets to the office on time, does good work. She's a rock-solid base for my group. There's John. John's married. Three children. Another guy who performs really, really well. One of the children's disabled. Peter, younger, goes out a fair amount to nightclubs, pretty dynamic, gets stuff done. And then there's Dana. Dana's a wee bit hot-tempered, but boy does she manage to get people motivated. They're all good people. How can I lay them on? So, he then continues. He says, what? Well, the really, really difficult thing here is that Joe said to me, perhaps Mary and John are the ones who should leave. It's not up to me to say, Mike, the decision. Now, when someone like Joe suggests he might consider who to lay off, in English parlance, what that really means is, 
do what you're told. <laughs> I might feel this. So now, I want you all to think about that dilemma. How would you feel if your boss invited you in? If your boss said to you, who you have to lay off, and you knew those were the wrong people, how would that modify your ethics, standards, beliefs, and behavior? The decision is yours. When you take the king's shilling, 